Hey guys, Skatem here, and welcome back to another awesome episode of Spacecraft. And I'm sorry I left you off with a little, with a little cliffhanger there. Going through the Nether portal is the last thing I know. I'm evil. We are here now. I'm gonna light this up so I don't get killed from behind. There's no ore back here though, sadly. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna block that all off. I don't have to worry about that because we want ice spikes, and it is nighttime right now. It looks like so that's a bit. It's a bit scary over there. Um, I'm gonna head down, light this all up. We've got a giant cave in here. Um, it could make do for a pretty, pretty awesome looking entrance. And where are we? We're at 8,000. And it means we overshot it by just a bit. So we need to go this way. And Go a bit this way, I think. I'm gonna pull it up on the map, and I'm gonna start running there. It shouldn't be more than like a. It shouldn't be very far. Um, the biome stretched, uh, stretched a little bit, so we should still be, um, decently close. I don't think I'm gonna need to move the another portal, or at least I hope, hope not. Um, I probably will though, anyway. So I'm gonna go check that out. Okay, so we are pretty close. Um, I'm just gonna, just to be safe, move the another portal. Also, we make it so I don't have to run. Um, back a bit. We did go a little bit uh, too far, so I am going to end up breaking this nether portal, and we're going to head on, head on back, maybe like a hundred blocks, and replace it again. We're not going to die this episode at all. I can't prove that, and I can't like make that happen for sure. But we're going to try our hardest. We're going to try our hardest not to die. But anyways, let's see. We're at 900. We just have to move back. Because every block we run in here is seven blocks in the real world. Let's just go about here. Let's go about here. Yeah, that should be decently far. Everything out a bit, make it look all ugly. Perfect. So, now let's throw the portal down. Um, we just made the tunnel back there to, you know, open us up to the, open us up to the nether over there. That, that was purposeful. Definitely purposeful. And I just made this one block wide. I, I know there's a derp sign that just appeared right there. I know it. I know it just did. Gosh, dang it. Anyways, um, that's high enough, isn't it? Please, <laughs> please be. I don't want to derp out again. Anyways, there we go. So, I swear it's going to spawn us in the same place. Okay. Don't mess up this time. As my friend would say, Papa's got a new pair of shoes when he rolls dice and hopes to get lucky. We're just saying. Papa's got a new pair of shoes. It's, it's awesome, though. Um, bam! Definitely not ice. We moved 400 blocks closer. I think I should definitely go a bit further. Um, just curious what this episode is. Me breaking and replacing another portal a lot. Move like 400 blocks. I think, I think it'll be, you know, we want it, we want it in the ice spikes, but we don't have to run every time we get out of the nether. Um, might as well, might as well place it, um, closer while we can. Okie dokie, so we're here again, got a nice little view, hopefully it's gonna turn out right this time. Um, if not, we're definitely gonna be close enough, hopefully I didn't overshoot it now. But we should be in the Ice Spikes biome. Third time saying this, third time I'm probably gonna be wrong, but you know what, oh well. I can derp. Derping's allowed. Mistakes, mistakes, mistakes can be made. Okay, I thought we were at the other place. I thought we I thought we had spawned back at the other place in the other cave and I was getting I was getting pretty worried. Um Yes I'm in a mountain. Well, I'm just gonna spiral up to the surface and see see what happens. What's her why? I guess it doesn't really mean anything. Um I should get some coal though. So I am out of torches, and that's a zombie. Hello buddy, you're about to die. Sorry about it. Sorry, little bugger. Oh, you hit me. Mistakes were made. Okay, to the surface. Here we go. Ice spikes. Where are you, buddies? We're at 7,400, so we need to go this way. Awesome. I need to, like, mark this, probably, so I don't lose it. We can actually get back. That would be a smart idea, and I just noticed I do not have any water on me. I lost my water bucket. So that was a mistake. And let's light this up so monsters don't drop on our heads when we are coming out of here. Okay. 
this is where we are, and ice bikes are this way. Let's just adventure. A way to get back up here. Are there any trees around? Let's, let's mine out a little space um, so we know where to get to. All up. I don't see any trees close by. So I'm just gonna mine into the mountain. Just kind of make a curvy, curvy little way down. So I just got blown up by a creeper. That's gonna be a fun journey back. Oh yeah, and we died. So I kind of lied in the beginning, I guess. That that did not take long. I died pretty quickly. Uh, here's some food. I'll take the food. Awesome. Good food. Okay, so that was like 10, 15 minute journey of awfulness. But, I should have all the items. Packs. Don't blow up anything. Oh, it's down here. There it is. Am I missing anything else that might be on the surface? That pickaxe. I did not have the axe. Just head on down. Hopefully we can find ourselves again. But let's head in search of the ice biome. Okie dokie, there we are. Okay, we've got the pickaxe. Let's head out. <gasps> there we go. There we go. I can see it. I can see it. Ice spikes, we've made it. We've made it. We've made it. It looks so beautiful. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, that, that's not really welcome back. You guys just saw me, but it's been like five hours elapsed, I swear. So I'm on with Mike, and Necker's in the call right now. About time. Yep, and uh, Mike is having Skype issues. And Mike I don't, just noticed I did not have my sword on me. So we're going to run away from this skeleton instead of running towards it. And it does not want to burn because it's got a helmet on. So we're just going just gonna to ignore that. So it's just time... To mine out, oh, that feels so satisfying. All of this ice. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, it goes into the ground too, heck yes. There we go. Ooh, even more. Already over a stack of packed ice. So I'm gonna continue get some more packed ice that's what i'll be doing and then i'm gonna head back to spawn and start getting to work on the spawn shop some more mike okay mike wow. skeleton's such a new off the freaking mountain <laughs> can we sleep please God. i'm in the nether so you're good hold on yeah so i got 10 stacks of packed ice so we are good to rock and roll. Mike's oh, finally shit. back on Skype. Necker only has one death, so he's oh. crushing us. In that regard. Well, I, I, I just don't have a, I don't actually have a bow. I have no string. I need to go find spiders. Oh, that's I have not yet to make a single bow. But I, I literally struggle because I cannot learn the new mechanics yet of how to fight things. I don't like the new mechanics. I've, I'm slowly getting accustomed to I'm it. I'm indifferent. I like the idea of them, but right now I don't like them because they're so drastically different than the other controls that I have to, like, relearn how to play. Yeah, I still forget and spam click a lot. Yeah. And then you just die. Okay, so we've made it yeah, back. I'm, I'm going to store most of this ice away. I'm not going to need it all right now. Um, I grabbed a bit of grass, too. Never know when you need it. I need to get... Um, get items back. I kind of lost Ugh. all my all my normal stuff I carry in my hop bar. Um, and then let's grab a few stacks of ice and go down to the shop at spawn and start working on that. So I have replaced all of the quartzos here now with the packed ice so this won't melt and now the items will actually flow flow freely down these streams and they shouldn't get messed up. There you go. They bounce around a bit. It looks pretty cool. But we'll have those items going around up there from the sorting system down into here. I've named tentatively this this building the Spazcraft Recycling Center. Please put down in the comments a better name for this, a cool name for this. <laughs> um, just do that. 
I think I'm, you can hear Michael laughing. Um, I'm just gonna. <laughs> but yeah, so, I think the next part is, we've got all this hooked up, I need to um, do the rest for that later. So we've got this section over here, this is for everybody's extra stuff, and Michael doesn't really like this, he thinks it should be an entirely different building. I agree. I, I, um, I agree, different building, but I, for now, I like what you did do by putting the signs there. That's kind of more what I imagine. That'll work perfectly for now, where we can just put our junk. But I thought it would you know, maybe separate from, like, every, each of us could have our own shop where we can trade items, and specifically for us, and then have a shop that's, like, for everyone's recycling junk. But for now, what you did is fine. It's good. Yep. So um, the next thing we're going to start doing is working on this automation and the storage room. I just got carried away lighting everything up. <laughs> I think we're going to add some gravel down here. Yeah, I, you want to do the same kind of gravel path? I have what? Oh, hey, Gerzon. Yay, Gerz back. Hey, Gerzon. That's awesome. So, everybody's building paths. Mike and Necker. Ger just got on. I am going to try to do some redstone. So, I'm putting in these item sorters right here. Um, so, on basically... On roof. Yeah, on the ugly roof. So, basically, when I put items in here, it's going to detect um, the item. So, we have an item sort of there, and then they're very simple to make. Um, we're going to put oh, wait. quite a few of these guys in, and I actually need to put one over here, too, if I can fit it. So, what I think is actually going to have to happen is that I'm going to move this one like so, and then I can fit... See how it goes. So Hello, there. This here. I guess we'll just do plain gravel for now. Well, Up there. I was thinking is that you could throw anthracite here, right there. Oh, like not polished anthracite. Uh Another What's one. the polish? That's the, yeah, that one. The unpolished one will look here much more like it. But I might have turned it all and into polish. And put that into that look. dispenser. Because I, I kind of like that. Then we need all these to come out. So that'll go like that. Um, and then here and here. Two. Need to be facing outwards um, Don't for get blown the detection out. to work. There's a zombie coming. Oh. Now I only have three more, but what's going to happen is that we just have a line going over the top like so. Just like that. No, doing redstone right above ground is really tough. Um, so I just need to put blocks on top of these. I really hope this all works. And then we need a comparator uh, for each one um, for detection. And then it you goes know, two blocks down. And then that'll go into these. And now we're not two blocks down here. It's going to be awkward. Um, we'll just place that there for now. We'll have to make that look all nice. But there we go. That should be the item detection working. And now the hard part is that Careful we're going to need these down, dispensers to fire. Um, what I think oh will God. work is just placing... Um, just like this. That will make them all fire. It's like if I press... Um, uh, I think they can get that witch out of there. Look, Necker, that is unpolished andesite. Hmm. What do you think? Do you like polished or do you like it unpolished? I like the un I like the like po that. I like the unpolished because the polished we're using is like other things. Yeah, like and the, the lining on the cliff edges in the background. Yeah, the, and plus this looks really similar to gravel. Right. Over here. So if yeah. you mix it up a little bit, I think that's what we'll do. Place that Don't down. Have to gravel though. All the dispensers should fire, or they just won't. Here, Necker, let's actually start down there because up here we know like it's we know where to go. Yeah. Like, let's start down where we, like, don't know okay. where the paths are. Because I don't have too many resources for all this right now. Yeah, I don't have a lot either. I, I but if we just can do, like, this, like these parts down here. Yeah. That people can figure this stuff out. And when it comes back today, I'm going to run up to my uh, house and drop the waterfall. And I'll have you bit, dig a pit for it. Okay.
Oh, uh, have you figured out which way we are coming up from here? Um, well, we're gonna have something from here. All right. We could just, we could just actually. This, done. Oh, or not. Uh, this yep. actually not done yet. turned out a bit better looking than I thought it was going to. Um, at least I kind of like this window. I don't know. I kind of think it looks pretty pretty nice-ish. If, if you don't look at it too long. If you look at it too long, then it gets <laughs> bad. Anyways, um, this still looks a little weird. I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, so this part of the roof still working on, but I, I do need the water stream, so we can't like get rid of them. Um, if I can manage to get up here, um, this is where we have the item sorters. Now we've got the gray stained glass that I put in. Um, I don't know how much you actually saw of building this, because my brother was in the background playing Call of Duty, and everyone was talking, so I didn't. I kind of, that's probably going to be more of a time lapse kind of, kind of deal. Um, but anyways, we have the item sorters here, and then we're just going to have like an aqueduct coming out of the mountain, or coming up from my mountain, that's going to run into this. Um, that's the easy part. The hard part, as you can barely see here, that, that um, repeater's on. And that means that's going to be firing these dispensers. And we're going to need some way to make the dispensers detect when there's items, even though there's no room. And then start firing so it can fire all the items out. I was able to make a thing that fired all the dispensers. Um, so we're going to need some sort of comparator at maybe this major line and then just... Um, fires as it detects items in there somehow. That's going to be the hard part of how to work everything out. Um, but as you can see, this is the line um, for the dispensers. You might be able to hear it if I replace this one. Um, you just heard some ticks up there. Uh, I need to place a light right here. I already have the torch down under it. Um, don't know how I like this part of the inside. It's very flat, so we'll work on that. Um, got this all working, so I think it's going pretty good. Um, we just need to work on the aqueduct system up to the storage room and finishing up everything and making it look better. Add flowers, as Gur says. I think that'll uh, make it look considerably better. And don't forget the peon stuff. Peon stuff? Yeah, peon. <laughs> <laughs> peon. Peony. Peon it. Oh, peony. yeah. Huh. Okay, I see. Now we're uh, just making fun of Gur. That's right. Making, okay, yeah. I get it now. Look, all I see is a name tag for Necker's name tag, and then I see white cloud and then magical water that comes through it. <laughs> yeah, the clouds were like going even to start the cloud off. goes through the water. They, they need to make a better transition off, down here too, um, where the where it ends. But I do like uh, Necker and Mike just built this really nice path going up, and they made this coincidental <laughs> waterfall, which has turned out to be very beautiful. So now we have a much easier way to get up the mountain. So yeah, spawn's looking pretty nice. Uh, it does look a little weird with the water. Once I fill in the top of the other part, that'll look better though. Uh, it's what are we doing with good. the uh, the random uh, these blocks? Yeah, we what? need to make the transition at the bottom better. I can work on that. I guess I don't really transition have any blocks on me to do it. Well, get to work. Cause you totally said you'd help with the path, and you. Hey, I, I was busy yeah. doing productive stuff. Uh, yeah. This was productive. This is making our life simpler. Duh. <laughs> what what is what is Skata mad about now? Everything. Everything. What what do you make ugly that it not does not have a good transition? Apparently vaginas. 
I don't know. I'm there's just a gonna cut the recording from like, <laughs> like <laughs> random. You had to. You made the mistake of one not building it one high enough. You know what? It was. It was a. It was a purposeful artistic choice. Go home. You're drunk. Even <laughs> that's what they all say. <laughs> See, up on the roof, you made the roof look nice. Now. Oh, do you think it? Okay, I was, st- I was still a bit unsure it's, it's about it. Cover the water. Uh, but, but it, like it's gonna look so here. bad if I cover the. I'm gonna. I'll try. Well, see, if you just like cover it up where it's just like you know little things. It's the best. No, you won't. I mean, I don't want to like look down here and see like a brown roof with like water over it. Like, come on, man! You're like the artist here in the building. Uh, you know, I know, I know. It's it's not finished. It's not finished. He 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 is not he is not um. <laughs> I'm worse with Jeez. the modern style. Let's see what you have put in your donation chest, girl. I Sorry, put in cobblestone, but I just took it back out because I might need it. <laughs> <laughs> put in one cobblestone. His, his name is not Zerthic, therefore he's not that talented. I don't know. Sometimes I think even Chase overrates himself in building abilities. He's good at the uh, like medieval style. Yeah, but, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to be more diverse. I'm not, I'm not doing the best, though. I think the building looks good in general. Yeah, in general. But it needs to be perfect. I'm a perfectionist. That's not good yeah. enough. It, it's not bad besides the running water. Through the roof. Like, that's that's that has, like, the purpose design. Like, I need the water there. So I just need to f- figure out, a, like, an eloquent way to cover it up. <laughs> Derp face. Boom. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Give me money. Can, or can I kill you so I can have your head so I can have like this little like hair and like the hollow like a little hood on your face so then I can like look at Invader Zim girl like all the time. <laughs> Do you have a lot of stuff Don't on you? They're a killer. Horrible person. I want people. No! <laughs> I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. He got the first shot off, and he has more armor. I can get two heads with one with no, one kill. Don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Here, take your head! Take your head! Take okay. your head! I just gave it to you. Uh. <laughs> that means he's close to dead. Yeah, I had two hearts. <laughs> Mike, you look beautiful. <laughs> fat head, fat head. That's hilarious. Do 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 do. Your head's throbbing. Welcome back. So everybody has gotten off the servers. So we can actually do a bit of actual recording now. And I've started work on the aqueduct. Um, I meant to like record my building process through this, but I do a really bad talking while recording, and I kind of messed up a lot of times. So this is what we've got. I'm not sure if I like it so far. Um, I don't feel like it's horrible. Maybe we need another trap door there or change that to a stair or something. That block's weirding me out a little bit. Um, I need to figure this out. This does not go here. Um, that's actually like that. Or actually... Better. It actually look better if I do this. Now that I think about it. Close that up a bit. It's this block that's weird. So maybe turn this back. Whatever. So you see, you see, I get quiet when I'm doing this kind of stuff. I'm bad. Anyways, so we need an aqueduct system. We're gonna need water. We're gonna need it to be ice. I just don't know how to design it. I don't think this looks completely horrible right now. Um, we'll see how it goes. We'll continue this design up and then either into the mountain or driving down from the mountain. I don't know yet. But um, if I go through this process again, so we have our storage room up there, and then there's gonna be like levers on the storage room. Um, and there's going to be also um, comparators down here. And when items get low, then the comparator is going to output burst, um, a redstone line. So you can go up in the mountain, and then it's going to tell the mountain, hey, we're low on items down here. And then that's going to be a light on in the storage room under, like, cobblestone or whatever. And I can flick a lever on, under the cobblestone item. And then it'll start exporting stacks of cobblestone from that. And it'll travel down the water stream, travel in down this aqueduct, travel into here, 
and then there will only be one water stream for all these items, so I don't have to make more than one. And if I can get up here, um, I might have to place a block. And it'll travel down, and it'll fall down into here, and we've got all the hoppers set up um, until these two at the end, and then it'll sort the items, so like certain items will be in here, certain items will be in here, and it'll sort them all into the shop, and the actors will be outputted this way, and they can go back into the ground and go somewhere. I don't know. But anyways, that is the plan. So I need to get this hooked up to the mountain, and I need to get a few more hoppers. I also need to get the system for items that do not fit in here, but somehow got in the aqueduct. If just someone cues a random item out into the water or whatever, we need to collect that. Um, the other thing is also to make it all look nicer. Um, it looks okay, but I'm not satisfied with everything. Um, so we're going to keep a working on a that. We also need to work on the pass from spawn. Um, so I'm going to be working on the storage room in this and give you guys a bit more of a progress update in a little bit. So I've added another eight blocks and I tweaked just one or two minor things. And I think, I think I'm starting to like it more now that it's taking shape and has a bit of consistency. Um, you can see like the support pillars and whatever. I'm starting to like it a little bit more, but there's still definitely stuff to be approved on for that, um, for the aqueduct and the actual shop itself. So I'm going to continue on this track um, up. But now the question is where to go from here, and that actually looks pretty cool, that little thing coming out. So maybe a we'll water pouring out of there and uh, falling down onto the aqueduct. I think that might actually work out pretty well, so I'm going to try that out. Hey guys, I did not realize how much time had elapsed, so this is actually going to wrap, be wrapping up this episode. Um, I promise next one we're going to get into more uh, specific and actually finishing stuff up. Um, but for now, I threw in some items to these chests. I'm thinking maybe building materials for this first uh, little wing or section. Um, I don't know, we'll leave it at that. I also need to hook um, the redstone detection up. And I just threw some food in here, and I'll, I'll stock these um, off camera, grab a free snack. Um, then I also put down the items needed for uh, the donations, so we're, in, we're low on iron quartz and leather right now, and I'm going to be needing a lot of all three of those items. So that's the plan um, for now, I'll be working on all that stuff. Um, but we really need the storage room before we can start getting items down here. So I think that's going to be the plan for the next episode, and getting that thing set up. So that's going to wrap up this episode. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that subscribe button. If you can think of a better way to build this roof, please mention it down in the comments below. But I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hey, little zombie.